Hello and uh, welcome back to our Reaper Surround tutorials. It's 4D this time. It's a, a special uh, function we use in the rear surround pan plugin to be able to pan especially the front of the uh, surround panner. So far you've been working in stereo, so you've used the, the P shortcut to access the, the pan line. This pan line is only for stereo, so for left-right content we cannot use it for the surround panning because the center uh, is not included in this panning. So we can close this again by pressing P again since it's a toggle. And what I've opened up here is the, the X parameter in the resurround pan plugin. You've al already seen the resurround pan plugin. So uh, what we see here is the, the left speaker, the center speaker, the right speaker, right surround, left surround plus the LFE, which we can access by pressing uh, the, this button to LFE and then we can, we can open up the LFE value, which we see here in the plugin. We're going to have a closer look at the, the LFE functions later in these tutorials. We stay in, in the, in the uh, left, center, right spectrum now. And why do we do this? Uh, when we have a screen here, or let's say the image here, and we have a character, for example, this character here, I'm, I'm going to play something for you. So that's our character, he enters the frame and he exits the frame. So that's the scene we're going to have a look at today in this tutorial, and we want to be able to pan our uh, character from left entering the frame to the center and to the right exit the frame. How can we do this? We have the resurround pan plugin always on the last uh, spot of our FX chain and that is the guarantee that our sound really goes in our six channel layout out of the track into the folder track. In this case it's the, the voice folder which has also six tracks and then on to the master. So as long as your resurround pan is not at the end of the FX chain it, it will not work properly. Now Jeroen was programming and I asked him hey could you do a shortcut for me so I can access the X axis of our uh, resurround pan plugin because this is our x axis and when we change this view we see all the parameters and we want to be able to control the in one x i now go into the action window to access this action i want to show you so it's command option shift x and that allows me to access the X envelope of every track I'm working on. So I'm going to close the action window again and show you how the, the shortcut works. So Command Alt Shift, Command Option Shift X. You need the track to be highlighted or more, like two or three or four. Command Option Shift X. Usually I do a panning for like this respiration and I want to use the same panning maybe for the footsteps. And so what I'm going to do now is I do the panning for one. So for, for the breathing, uh, I do it for the breathing now. And afterwards I can copy the whole envelope I've been setting up, copy it to the track where my footsteps are. And that's how I do the panning for all the action going on on screen. Usually this is mono action and therefore we only need the in one X. If it's a stereo track, here we have for example a stereo track. Let's have a look at this. So we have two 
options here and I'm going to press the, the shortcut again and it opens up the IN1X and the IN2X. So what does that mean? Since we have two inputs in this version of the, of the preset, we have the, that's the 2IN6 out preset. So we have IN1X and IN2X. I go back to my respiration where I want to do the panning. So when I start doing the panning, I'm going to do this a little bit bigger so we can see it well enough. I set one point by pressing shift and I do a point here at the beginning and I do one at the end. So like here, I do another one and this ensures that my line is still at zero because I want to keep the session clean. So I don't want something like this and like this and like this. That's, that's not what I, what I want to do. I want to have the line clean, do the panning for one, one scene and then go on to the next one. So I press Command Z to undo all these points. I only need this one. Now I jump through the session and I go and have a look where is my center, where is my protagonist in the center. I do another point because this one will stay in the center. Then I'm going to check where is the enter frame. It's here. Huh? So that's it. I do another point here and I'm gonna check where the exit frame is. Why is this important? You might already know it from the, the previous tutorials where we covered the panning in the, in the stereo uh, uh, field. We need the, the, this point because we want to put it to 70. Meaning I put this point here, this one, to 70 right. And I put another point, the point where my character enters the frame to 70 left. And then I have still some space to pan from 100 to 70. Hmm? So that's what I usually do huh? like this. What I try to prevent is 90 degree angles. I don't like 90 degree angles since they, they tend to, to do a little click. So what I'm going to do is I, I have the, the frame boundary and I do this for one frame here. Now let's see how it continues our image. I toggle through. So that's where I need to put this uh, a value, so I can erase that by pressing Alt and I can drag this one, come on, here. And then our character is in the middle and it continues. Now let's listen to it. Okay, this is not yet very, very clean. I might use the volume here, but that's just to, to cover this a little bit. So I can especially go back with my volume here. 
I can also show you how I can do this static. So I do a selection, I press Shift Command, and I can do a static uh, um, envelope. I can do another point here and erase this one by pressing Alt. Now let's listen. Now this switch is a bit awkward because it changes exactly on the spot where he's breathing. So I might just do one edit here and pull this one back even more so we don't hear a lot of this breathing like this. Huh? Okay, and that's the whole secret. Now what I'm going to do next is I, I want to show you how I can put this automation, how I can copy it. I need to select the envelope here by pressing, clicking once, and then use the shortcut Command Shift C and go down to my footsteps. They are here. I need to go to the start of the selection, select the envelope, press Command V. And that's how I can, for example, have 10 different sounds for, uh, for one action and simply copy paste this envelope to the other envelopes. So I propose you to also use this uh, shortcut, this uh, command uh, option shift X shortcut to access the, the, the line. One thing I could also mention at this point is as soon as you need to use the Epsilon controller as well. So X again is the front, the Epsilon is this one and now it should work properly. Yes, we have the Epsilon. So if you want to have this character go to the back now, we can have a look at it in the rear surround pan. Let's see how it, how it works now. Okay, goes back, the breathing goes to the surround. Of course, I wouldn't do this for this uh, action here on screen, so I press Command Z, 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 and I'm done. Thanks a lot. We're going to continue with the use of the subwoofer in the next tutorial. That's 4E. And in 4F, we're going to cover the different automation modes in Reaper. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun using Reaper.